Procedural dramas are a dime a dozen. Hell, CBS has a dozen on their network alone, so recommending one is awfully tough, but today's Lost and Found episode isn't a tough selection. Psych is one of the most underrated shows to air on one of the most underrated networks television has to offer. If you were psychic, I wouldn't be cleaning your clock right now. Cleaning my clock? What does that mean, Burger? Well, you take time out of your day to clean another man's timepiece? And if so, that would be a bad thing? No, I would be gracious. I would say, JP, dude, thanks for spritzing my watch. Psych premiered on the USA Network in summer of 2006. It was part of the unspoken initiative of strong, kind-hearted protagonists following suit with Monk, Covert Affairs, Burn Notice, and White Collar, to name a few. The show was an absolute hit for the network, scoring high in critical ratings, and eventually developed a cult following known as Psychos. For all of this, the show is still one of the most underrated shows in recent memory. But well, the truth is, I'm a psychic detective. This is my partner, Galileo Humpkins. Uh, my name is Sean Spencer. I'm a psychic. This is my partner, Lumpkin. My name is Gus, but you can call me Slicks. Slicks? What's your name? My name's Sean. This is my partner, Scooney. You turn Singleton. Psych follows Sean Spencer, played by James Rude. Sean is grazed closely by his anal retentive police officer father who from boyhood trained Sean to develop a keen sense into deduction. After solving multiple murders, Sean is eventually brought in for questioning. With no real explanation, Sean reveals to the police that he is none other than a psychic. With the help of his childhood best friend Gus, played by Dulé Hill, the two start their own detective agency known as Psych. I am a psychic. We work for the Santa Barbara Police Department. We've solved over 47 cases. I'm also a pharmaceutical rep, if that means anything to you. You've seen The Mentalist, right? Yes. It's like that. Except that guy's a fake. Right. If I was a fake psychic, it would be eerily similar. Exactly the same. A virtual carbon copy. Psych, without a doubt, is one of the funniest shows television has had to offer. The combination of well-timed situational humor, expertly crafted cultural references, and sometimes just plain silly jokes make every episode worthy of a laugh or two. This is only netted by the absolutely fantastic, dare I say, best bromance on television between Sean and Gus. The two are brothers, connected by their indifferences, they ultimately always had each other's back, but still bicker like a married couple. The series relies heavily on the two's bond, one that clearly worked behind the camera and blooms in front of it. Gus, don't be principal and interest. I already have a brilliant cover plan. Gus, don't be the ribs to flip over Fred Flintstone's car. If you were to ask what Psych would closely relate to, one might be surprised by that answer. The first thing to come to mind is the revered animated series Scooby-Doo. The two usually go frame for frame and set up in conclusion. Gang stumbles into mystery, gang has to solve mystery, gang comes up with an insane conclusion to mystery, bad guy reveals himself. For this, it's fair to say that Psych plays closely as like an adult Scooby-Doo. Yes, it even comes equipped with a dozen or so horror-themed episodes that are so brilliant in their design and their execution. <laughs> Psych is a malleable show, and this has come off since the pilot. Creator and writer Steve Franks really put his absolute effort in not only creating his vision, but sticking to his guns. This easily comes across in the show's theme song created by Franks himself. For our specialized episodes, it'll change, still following the theme, but it might be a holiday version, or maybe even Boys to Men. Franks, with the help of a great writing team, and even James Rude himself, creates some absolutely fantastic homages. One in particular is an expert nod to the many creations of the legendary director Alfred Hitchcock. Instead of being a complete ripoff, the show sly tips the point of its hat and finds a way to tell its own story. This episode expertly nets the show's ability to not only do well-timed humor, but even find a way to be dramatic as well. Psych ran for eight seasons, and now they're currently filming the second feature-length film. The biggest draw to Psych is the only one that should ever matter in storytelling. It's the characters. Sean is an absolute mess, but his wittiness, keen eye of observation, and his ability to con his way out of anything is just damn entertaining. His bond between his father, Henry, while hard to love at times, quickly becomes a great father-son relationship. You also have Sean's love interest, Juliet, who, while romantic interest, spends several seasons developing as a totally capable, strong character. Then, of course, the lovable rivalry between hotshot detective Carlton Lasseter and Sean. One of the series' highlights is the two bickering, but ultimately respecting each other. Psych is the ultimate comfort television show. It is that tomato soup and grilled cheese on that fall day. It feels like real-life stories told ridiculously right before your eyes. It's you and your friends on a detective adventure. 
you quickly grow to love them for each mistake, good or bad they make. Eventually, a few episodes in, you realize you're not watching characters, you're watching your friends and your family. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe and give this video a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, leave a comment down below.